Drums, please. Hey, I'm back again. Um, as you can see, it's still one o'clock in the morning, but I wanted to come on and talk about something that a new discovery that I have found. Well, it's not really a new discovery, but milk of magnesia. Um, I know there's a million and one videos about this. I haven't seen all of them. I've only seen like three of them. But um, who has me convinced? I, I don't remember her name off the top of my head. I think her YouTube channel is um, The Icing. I, I, I think. Like, I'm not really sure to be honest with you. But I mean, she had me convinced because when she was doing the application, I could see like the oils like fading away like as she was doing it, which made me say, okay, I have to try this out. Because I was originally going to try it out, but my thing was like, I was like, okay, well, should this be going on my skin? Like, is this something that's going to be healthy for my skin? Or is it going to, like, make me break out or, like, get rashes or something like that? But then I'm like, you know what? Worst case scenario, like, what's really ha what could happen? Like, if it can go in my body, it can go on my skin. And I think if it, if something can go inside of you and it can't go on the surface of you, that there's definitely a problem there. Definitely. So I was like, okay, let me go get it and let me look into, like, what the ingredients are. Um, I got it at my local Walmart for I'm gonna tell you six something like seven dollars let's just say seven dollars round up um don't quote me of course there's like the Phillips one which is not the one I got I got this equate one I um got this one just because it was cheaper by like a dollar um so like most of other other reviews, you know, this is like a it's white, it's liquidy. Let me show you this stuff. Like, let me shake it up and kind of show you a little bit. Um, so you can kind of see that it's like it's 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 very it's it's um it's like it's not thick, but it's not really thin. You know, like, I don't really know how to explain it. But it's not creamy. Like, it's, it's, like, medicine. I don't know. I don't know how to explain it. Um, but it definitely does make a difference. Like, I can honestly say it makes a difference in my skin. I've tried it two days in a row now. But my skin is really oily. So it's like, even this is not really doing as much as I would want it to do but at the same time I'm kind of like happy with this because I feel like it controls my oils but then I'm still um moisturized like it's not drying out my skin whatsoever and if you have dry skin I don't know if this would be the product for you but like if you have like my skin okay people don't believe me when I tell them this my skin is so oily it burns my eyes sometimes like my oils are just like like fall into my eyes like I swear like people think I'm crazy but I'm being so serious like my skin gets so oily like I can like rub my nose and like grease and lotion my hand like that's how bad it gets like it's really bad it gets so oily to the point where you can like see the oils like like on my nose like literally just see the like the oil bubble. like it's just it's so disgusting it's so bad my mom says be happy it means I'll look young forever and like <sighs> I want to believe that but my problem too is the fact that my skin is so oily that it just lifts makeup off my skin. Like if I put makeup on, it just it just kind of comes off. So I kind of feel like it's so pointless to put on foundation because like it's just gonna fall right off my skin. Like it's gonna slip right off. Like literally, like it's just slide right off. It's just disgusting. So I don't know. I've been trying this. It's been working for me. I'll do a video about like the actual application so you can see what I do. But I use the thing is that I use shea butter on my skin, which makes my skin more oily. But I prefer using shea butter than using um any chemical kind of um face cream. But I, when I use face cream, my skin's so oily, so it's kind of like it doesn't make a difference. So shea butter just makes it a little bit worse, I would say. Um, like within a half an hour of getting dressed my skin's oily and the thing about it my skin is so oily that if I do not put anything on my face at all no shea butter no cream no nothing half an hour later my skin's still oily I don't I, even if I don't moisturize but I'm told you should even mo you should still moisturize even if you have oily skin even though sometimes I feel like with um so the ingredients of this product are magnesium hydroxide 
and potassium sorbate and purified water so I feel like there's not a lot of ingredients in this so compared to like a long list of ingredients you're gonna get in a primer and I feel like I'm getting a lot of this and it's probably gonna last for a really long time I don't know how long yet but a really long time and it does like it's not I wouldn't say like it makes all your oils go away it doesn't do that so don't expect that like at least for me it doesn't but it definitely does make a difference within my skin within the day like I, I can see that it prolongs the oil process for me and it can it prolongs it but also when the oil does come it's not as bad as usually right when I usually get oily it gets really bad it's kind of like a tamed oily I can kind of just dab it away I have to like actually like clean my face because that's how bad my skin gets right um so what I do is exactly what she did in her video is like what I do it seemed like the best method to, way of doing it so I got this brush from H&M like five bucks it's not really a great brush not at all but um it does the trick it does the job that's what I need to do so it's um so um I just put a little bit in the cap and I just kind of dab away and just kind of rub it all over my face kind of like if I was applying foundation um yeah that's it nothing spectacular about it um I put it on my whole face because I have a really oily face like but I know she was saying if you are only want to do your t if you only want to do your t-zone that's fine too um that wouldn't work for me but I'm like I need to maybe do like extra amounts on my t-zone because that's it gets the most oily so but that's what I do I'll come back and let everyone know how that goes um so far it's going well but I'm gonna actually come back and like show you and like do um clips throughout the day of like what it looks like and I don't know if I'm gonna do that yet so bear with me on that one but I'm going to do it but yeah this is my new adventure so I'll let you know how it goes this is just a, like a plus in this video side note it's like a PS <laughs> Um, I bought this brush from Walmart because I need a dual brush so bad. Um, and I really want, I really just want a stripper brush for like my foundation. Like I already have one, but um, let me show you the one I have. The one I have from Coastal Sense is this one. So you see how thick this is? Like do you see how thick this is? So it's supposed to like when I bought it, it said like mineralized um flat brush. It said something like that. I don't remember what it said. But anyways, I use it for liquid foundation to like buff it in, or I'll use it for mostly that. I don't really think I use it for much else. But it's too thick and I, it's eating up the foundation. Like it's um I use HD liquid foundation and it's eating it up. And I'm like, this stuff ain't cheap. Can't be eating up my foundation. So once something a little bit thinner like this, where you can see the difference. Because I don't want something that where it's just going to eat everything. And so I, bought, so I bought this brush from Walmart. And it was like $10. Not like to know it was $10 for socks. And it's from Spa Resources. And I just want to tell you, I do not like this brush. Like, it's such a mixed feeling because it sheds so disgustingly bad that when I'm done I have to go through my face and pick off all these hairs which is the most annoying thing in the whole world so I would suggest if, like I wish I knew before I bought it if anybody like is thinking about going to get this think long and hard if you're willing to go through that I mean I have it now so I use it obviously you can see I use it but um I don't know like it really does a good job though like like the, the white hairs in it do a really good job I don't know I like them I like the, the softness and I like the density of it. It really does like do what I need it to do. Um, so I like it on that aspect. But these black hairs, I don't know, you can kind of tell. I don't know if you can see this. Like I don't know if you can tell. Like the texture of them, they're kind of like not as soft. And um, they're just shedding. Like even as, it's not, even as I'm talking, they're shedding in my hand. Like they sh the black hair sheds so bad. Like I don't understand why. It's so bad but I love the I love the brush for the sake of like putting on my liquid foundation and putting on blush so it's like I use it for two things now because I really like this top part of it I don't know what I can do to like deal with the shedding because it's really annoying I think I just want to get a different brush now I'm obviously gonna keep it because I bought it 
It's brand new. Like, I literally just bought a couple days ago, but... <gasps> Excuse me. I don't enjoy... Like, I don't enjoy having to do that. Like, you know, you're rushing in the morning to go to work, and then you just stop and be like, pick this one, pick this one. Like, no. So we'll see how long I deal with this for before I, I give up. But those are my two Walmart purchases. I bought them both from Walmart, and um, I'll get back to you on how that goes for me. But thank you for watching. I sincerely appreciate it. Um, take care. Um, enjoy your day. And peace. Here it is, a clue slightly trans.